everyone. Today I wanted to show you how to make this cute little jar of hearts. Um, kind of like that song, the jar of hearts song. <laughs> I don't have the royalties of that song, so I can't include it in here, otherwise I would. Um, so I wanted to show you how to make this using recycled materials, at least mostly recycled materials. There's a few inexpensive items that you can get at the Dollar Tree. So here is our little jar of hearts with the moss and the little springs and the little hearts. There's the secondary view of it. So let's look at some of the supplies we need to make this. So first off, you'll need to finish a um, little yogurt or additionally you can use any other types of jars you have. So you could do one, this is an old pickle jar I've just run it through the dishwasher and um, this would make a good jar of hearts as well. It would be larger. You're going to need some moss and I bought this bag of moss at Michael's or possibly Joanne's um, quite a, a long time ago and I've been using it for projects but usually I don't need too much for each project so it's really lasted a long time. As you can see, it comes with different types of moss. There's like the brown moss, there's even some um, lichen looking type moss um, and like that kind of stuff. So, you know, there's a lot of options there. I know that the Dollar Tree does sell moss. I've just never found any at my Dollar Tree. Okay, the next thing you're gonna need is some little hearts. So you can see the little hearts there. And then these I got at Target in the dollar spot, and it was $1 for this package. And um, you can still see there's some in the package here, but I've dumped some of it out and I've used some for this project. And this one comes in red and silver. And this one comes in pink and gold. And what I didn't realize was that the gold had the pink on reverse. But not all of them do. So some of them will have the gold on reverse, and then some of them will just be plain plain pink on both sides. And then I think it's the same with the red and silver. Yeah, that one's just plain red on both sides, and this one is red and silver. Um, if you can't find those at Target, there's also an option to use these from the Dollar Tree, and you can just double them up um, back to back. And these are stickers, so you wouldn't even have to use glue necessarily. You could just double them up back to back and stick them onto the wire. And then speaking of wire, this is the wire I'm going to be using today. Um, when we had Christmas um, and I was taking apart all of the kids' toys and like doing all the packaging and everything that you do on Christmas morning, I saved um, all of the little wires that helped attach the toys to the, the boxes because these wires are coated in plastic, which makes them good for gardening. They won't um, corrode as fast. So I like to save these. It's just recycling um, and using something again. If you don't have any of these already saved, you can use jewelry wire. Or another fun thing, especially if you're doing this with the kids, would be to use some pipe cleaners or like some chenille stems, I believe they're called. So if you wanted to give this more of like a, a garden-y look, you could do um, the green to make it look like a plant stem or the red would be cute too. So I just wanted to give you some other options. And then you're going to need some kind of a, something to wrap the wire around, but this is an optional step. Um, if you can see, I've made little corkscrews, or the wires going like a little curly corkscrew there. Um, I just thought it'd be cute, add some interest to the, the project to have the wires wrapped that way. And then to glue the things down to your project, you're either going to need some hot glue or possibly some E6 or E6000, depending on uh, what you prefer. If you use the E6000, it there is going to be a longer dry time, um, but this can be done without electricity. And then the glue gun, obviously, you need some electricity, and it dries faster. So first off, um, about the jars, they have these labels on them. And the labels are pretty tricky to get off. Um, the best way that I've found is after you're done eating your yogurt um, is to take it to the sink and put some soap on there 
and carefully peel it while you're running it under hot soapy water and then just continuously um, rub the soap onto the label as you're peeling it off. Otherwise, um, it leaves a sticky residue that's hard to get off and you'll have to use um, a sponge to really scrub it scrub it off. And I've run them through the dishwasher, hoping that the dishwasher would get rid of the residue. It does not, even if you run it through multiple times. You actually have to scrub it off. Um, but if you're using the hot soapy water method, it doesn't take that long and it, it's fairly easy. I've also tried using the magic sponge eraser, um, like the Mr. Clean sponge eraser, and that actually gets that off. The other thing is um, this foil lid is attached down pretty well, so you're going to, it will take a little bit of time to um, scratch off that, but if you um, use a sponge and really scrub it, it'll come off. Okay, getting started, um, un unwrap your wire, and then we're going to bend it in half and see about how tall it is. Okay, yeah, that's going to be just fine. And then I'm going to need to twist a little loop in my wire. So as you can see, I've just twisted a little loop in the wire, and then judging by the size of the bottle, this is going to be a little bit too tall once we get um, the hearts glued on. So I'm going to use my paintbrush and wrap this around to make little curly cues. So just so you can see what I mean, I've wrapped the, the wire around the paintbrush just to make it into a little corkscrew. Okay, I've stretched them out a bit just to um, relax the, the curl a bit, and I'm going to add my, my hearts. Okay, I'm just going to add a little bit of glue to my heart and then attach it to the, um, the wire here. So it shouldn't take too much glue. I've actually had some glue dripping down because this is um, kind of a wasteful glue gun. I'm not really pleased with that purchase. You can see there that it just sits in globs glue and my old one didn't do this. I miss my old one. <laughs> but I guess this one will work just fine for the project today. And then just glue that down. Oops, sorry, I'm a little out of frame. And then I think I'm gonna have to push pause and do this really well with both hands. Okay, I got them both glued on, and then I'm going to add some glue to the the loop down here. And the reason I had it be a loop is to help it sit flat. Um, I'm gonna add glue all around the edge and then um, set it into the glass jar. Okay, I've got a nice layer of glue and I'm just setting this down into the jar. Hopefully you can see that. There we are. Okay, now that we have the hearts in the jar, we just need to fill in um, the bottom with some moss to kind of cover up that glue and then where we have attached um, the wire. So I'm just going to take some of this moss and tuck it down behind the, the hearts and into the jar. I'm going to use that big piece for the front, I think. And then we can use this last piece for the other side right in there and then just go ahead and fluff it up a bit and there you are all finished I was careful to make this pink heart taller because on this one the red heart is taller and I wanted it to be kind of opposites and I think um, if you chose to you could add um, a ribbon here um, like maybe some baker's twine or something but I kind of like just the simplicity of this um, just the natural elements and the whimsical hearts kind of floating away almost like balloons I really like how this turned out and I can't wait to put them in the house maybe on the table for Valentine's Day dinner if you like this project please give it a thumbs up and I will talk to you again soon